Woodrow's is home. Woodrow's really formed me. And I still appreciate to this day that I wasn't just a number on a class sheet. That my value as a person was reinforced. Women of character, women of strength. For our daughter, that's very, very real. This is probably one of the best decisions that we have made for our children. Parents for Education Foundation, or PARIF, started with an ideal held by parents who embrace their responsibility as the primary educators of their children. These parents saw the need for schools that can partner with them in the total integral education and proper upbringing of their child. They believe that the total education means the incorporation of values into a student's education. For some, this may be just another tweak to how education is passed down from school to student. But for these parents, PARIF and its students, it is life-changing. Through the years, PARIF schools have been producing graduates that are a cut above the rest. Proud graduates that are able to show the world how PARIF education have changed them and how PARIF education guided them to where they are today. Why is Woodrow's the best school for your daughter? The three pillars that set Woodrow's education apart from all other schools are academic excellence, character building, and homeschool collaboration. Woodrow's places great emphasis on rigorous academic training of the students as evidenced by its Singapore math and science curriculum, having nurturing and highly competent teachers and facilities that are constantly upgraded. Singapore is number one worldwide in the study of student achievement uh, in both math and in science. Here in Woodrow's, we adopted it because we believe that it helps the students to, to learn more of the abstract, uh, concrete, pictorial abstract and modeling approach. The traditional way is very mechanical. In the Singaporean way, it's very hands-on. Uh, you will teach them in a way wherein they will learn easily by using manipulatives, a lot of activities that will really enhance them by just looking at the book. It's very colorful, the children like it, and the explanation is not that really hard to understand. When they get to high school, the strength of the high school math, I guess, is the we teach algebra in every year level in, with increasing difficulty. In third year and fourth year, we teach it side by side with subjects like trigonometry, geometry, analytic geometry. That way, the foundation is, is strengthened. We also tailor fit our curriculum so that we, we take into account all types of learners. Well, I am very happy when they instituted the Singapore Math and Science curriculum. One anecdote is when they started it and then my daughter, the second daughter, was in grade 4 then. She looked at her book and it was such a nice book, the science book, that before school even started, she was leaping through it and reading it for pleasure and that's why you're very happy about the curriculum now. And I remember uh, there was a talk given by the principal, Ms. Udani, and she said she wanted Woodrow's to be known for math and science and I think this is one of the steps they're taking for that to happen and I'm very confident it will. I'm quite impressed <laughs> with the academic program that Woodrow's is offering because considering that our daughter is in grade 7, I do think that what they're studying is quite advanced. When I go through her work at home and she shows me, sometimes it's really challenging. I figure I don't think I ever took that in grade 7. <laughs> so I, I'd like to think, you know, it's a level at, uh, at the least above uh, the level that they are. Well, what's challenging about the classrooms in Woodrow's are that the teachers don't expect us just to memorize. It takes a lot of time to analyze something, to critique it, and it's basically an accumulation of everything we've learned in the past. And so when you answer a test, you can't just think, oh, I've memorized it, it's okay already. I have to be able to really understand the lesson inside and out. Woodrow's is generally demanding. Like, if you, if you enter Woodrow's, don't expect to have an easy time. Um, we're not just demanded academically, like we don't just have academic papers or in, in classroom activities. We also have outside of classroom activities and hands-on and practical exams. So I think all around Woodrow's demands quality work from its students. We were able to manage our time properly and when we got to college, I never got stressed with paperwork or anything like that. And like if you talk to some of my other Woodrow's classmates, 
we had more creative like outputs because like with Woodrose we'd have all the batch plays and all our portfolios would have to be more creative, not just black and white or this kind of font and everything. So when we got to college, it gave us out of the box view of how to do things. Woodrose instills in her students the inestimable value of a good character, the key to attaining success in one's studies and personal life. Character, after all, is the highest form of competence. That is on the academic side. The other side that is equally good is on the character formation side because uh, we have found that the children in, in the parent system are trained to work really hard. They have a drive to, to, to excel in everything that they do and they don't give up easily. So this is one thing that I think this really you know, sets them apart from many other high school graduates. And in addition to that, the Christian uh, values formation is very good in the Pareth schools. Woodrose has done a tremendous job in making sure that our children uh, is able to discern the good from the bad. At the end of the day, it's not the academic excellence that matters. It's, it's really making sure that our children knows exactly to discern the right from the wrong. And Woodrose was successful in doing it. You're not just good academically, you're just not performing academically, you're also performing in social civic organizations, you also become a leader, become a person of faith, a person who prays a lot, a person who tries to be a good friend, things like that. I guess I learned, not just because they taught it here, but also because it's the kind of environment that we grew up, that I grew up in here. What else has really taught me how to be steadfast in my beliefs and not to be carried with other people. Like now, happiness is synonymous with um, the wrong kind of fun or with gaining a lot of money. But I've remained firm in my decision to find happiness in my life um, through hard work and having good relationship with the people around me and with a loving relationship with their Lord as well. The most important thing that I learned from my tutor is actually humility in the face of both failure and success that in the face of failure, to always strive to be the best person I can be and to keep growing as a person and to continue. And in the face of success, to always impart it to other people so that you can share the good that you have and then they learn from you. What Woodrose gives really is, is a, it gives you a lady that has both her feet on the ground. I mean, and she's charted her course and that's a good steady course. If you want your daughter to be well-rounded, um, someone who will contribute greatly to society. I mean, uh, someone who will love others. No question about it, Woodrose is the school. The main trust of this school is to provide Christian education to the students based on the Catholic faith. It gives a very uh, holistic uh, education that includes the moral and the spiritual life of the students. Woodrose is not run by Opus Dei. Woodrose is like the many other schools that were put up by members of Opus Dei, inspired by the teaching of the founder of Opus Dei, St. Jose Maria Escriva, which is basically uh, holiness in ordinary life through the sanctification of ordinary duties. Woodrow's believes that the effectiveness of child education depends largely on the unity of goals between the home and the school. That's why we actively undertake a close collaboration among parents, teachers, and mentors. Woodrow's, like all parent schools, has a unique mentoring system. No other school has this. Each student is assigned a mentor who collaborates with the parents in all aspects of the child's development. The personal formation program of Woodrose is what really sets us apart from the other schools. Um, each student, once she's enrolled, she's assigned a personal formation mentor. You would call a close friend, a confidant, a mature friend in other words. And aside from giving academic formation here, we make sure that each student grows as a whole person. So we're talking about areas of growth such as um, her social development, her emotional welfare, um, spiritual life, moral life, of course aside from academics. 
you know, if you put your daughter in good hands, you also find a school for yourself as a parent as well. Because um, more than teaching your daughter, you know, the right values, the right principles, it helps you also to be a more deliberate parent and learn and learn that parenting is something you can build on and work on each day. I think that's the most valuable thing that we picked up in the school. You know, it wasn't just a school that, you know, like we would drop our kids off there and forget about it. Yeah, we knew that we could work with the school and the school would work with us. It's nice in the barrack system that the school doesn't just take care of the student, but also takes care of the parents. Woodrose helps us in our parenting in, in a lot of ways. One uh, way I, I appreciate is the fact that they always have a lot of activities that bring the parents together. I like working with the mentors here at Woodrose because I feel that they are intimately concerned and involved with our child. Over here at Woodrose, what sets it apart is that they don't just tell, they listen a lot. They ask a lot of questions. And so we, we are encouraged also as parents to tell our side, to tell them what's going on at home. And that's very important, I guess, to them because they need to know what's going on at home for them to be able to know how to handle the child here in, in school. It's a very uh, family environment. That's very important because he, even the setting here, let's start with the physical. The physical environment uh, creates the family atmosphere. Uh, look at all the facilities. And then in terms of environment, in terms of relationship, it's also very family friendly. Well, yeah, we enjoy being here. You know, our daughter graduated already here, but we want to be here as often as we can because it's a family environment. No? It's uh, good for everyone to be back from time to time. People around always smiling. Okay, parents, uh, we're, we're, we're still uh, having get together with the parents, with the co-parents, uh, up to now. And that's the proof that we really enjoy. And then there's the environment of excellence. Yeah. Because uh, the, the students are, are encouraged to do their best. To shine. In, to shine in in all aspects, be it academics, uh, even the small things they do for each other, the ordinary things. Environment in Rujos is one of mutual trust, respect, openness. When you step into Rujos, you enter the gate. You know, it's um, there's no fear, there's no artificiality. It's very cordial, but of course, you know your boundaries, no. Uh, so in that way, you're able to work well, you're able to um, pursue things that you'd like to do, huh? and, and I think that um, the environment uh, greatly contributes to uh, what Woodrose would like to happen. Here in Woodrose, I can focus more, first of all, and there are other places to meet boys and it's not all about just meeting people, it's also about growing academically, spiritually, emotionally. I really like that my parents sent me here. I think the advantage of being in an all-girls school is it creates an environment that's more conducive to learning. You don't have distractions and because, because you're all girls, like the way you think, the environment that's set for you, it's more conducive to how you're going to learn and how you're going to attack each topic that's presented to you. If I met a couple still weighing pros and cons of sending their daughter to Woodrose, I would say to them, their daughter will find a school that is also a home. And if other schools you gain knowledge, here you will gain knowledge plus you will also find people who will build your daughter's strength of character. They will build your daughter's imagination. They will encourage your daughter to believe in herself. And from that belief, she can only go from strength to strength. Our passion for academic excellence and character building through homeschool collaboration spells the difference in the Woodrow's education. We invite you to come and be part of the Woodrow's family.